you, there's been a little girl tearing up the internet, you know. There's been a little girl tearing up the internet and um, everyone is using her on their meme. <laughs> yes. That that little girl is on every slack, like, nearly every single meme. But I am here, guys and girls, to burst your bubble on this girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what it is, <coughs> guys, girls. To my American family, to my British speakers, to my British speakers, to my English speakers, she's not saying yeah. This little girl is actually from South Africa. And if anyone knows South Africans, everyone knows that South Africans use the term yo. Did you know that? Just I know now. Right, they use the term yo. Now, yo is it's an expressive term like Nigerians use uh uh. Now, yo could be used at the end of sentences which are serious, which they could be used at sentences which are funny. They could be like, oh, and she fell over. <laughs> yo. I didn't know this. Right? They could be, it could be using something serious like, oh my God, and he hit me. And they'll be like, oh, yo. yo. Mm -hmm. Right? So as somebody who worked with South Africans for a few years, people from Eswatini specifically or Swaziland, I heard the term used in all aspects of life. This woman, or this woman, this young girl, is saying yo. Not yeah, guys. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. She's not saying yeah. She's saying yo, because she's South African. Can we talk about the South African people for a moment? <sighs> the, their bundas, or? No, no well. No, the women's no, bundas? No, no. I mean, because <laughs> that's what you're obsessed with. Isn't it? You said big booty holes, right? That's your obsessive. We're going to talk about the bum bum. If you just let me speak for a moment, <clears throat> South African women have amazing bum bums. I was going to give you a story from my childhood. Oh, okay. So we're going to talk about big booty holes. Not big booties, no. Okay. Um, I'm I'm obsessed with um big booty holes. Yeah. With the cup size 36C. When I was a young man, my mother had a South African friend. And she said, she said, bro, you, you scared me there. You said 36 C and then you said your mother. And I was, I was about to give you multiple red flags. Go on, go on. And, um, I was really young. I was maybe like eight years old, maybe less. And she used to love to take me shopping with her. Yeah. Right. Patience was her name. And she, she was taking me shopping like while she was just like, Hey, just let's go shopping. How old were you? About seven or eight. Okay. Or maybe, yeah, I wasn't, I was under 10. Okay. And, um, I'll just literally just follow her around. And then she'll just be buying clothes and shit. And she's like, one day went to buy some underwear. And she's telling me she's a 36C. And I'm like, the fuck does that mean? I was like, I, I don't know what it means, but it's now my favorite thing. 36C is just my favorite thing since then. Did you see her 36C? Not in, not in the flesh. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to lie. That was a bit of an anti-climatic story. I oh, thought, no, I thought there was going to be some kind of breast was, being shown. No, no, or... I was eight years old. And even if I had seen the breast, I don't, I don't know if I would even... No, but that could have been... You know when you get those moments when you're young that just spark something in your mind? Obviously, the 36 he sparked something in your mind, but imagine you saw it. I don't think I'd be here Then today. you probably would have been like, oh my God, every woman in my life needs to look like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be chasing that 36 C dragon until today, trying to find the next high. <laughs> trying to get the next high, bro. Let's get a, one, one more hit. It's not like the first time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, but no, she was fine. Uh, the South African woman is um, God's gift to, 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 to eyes. The eyes, just to look at the South African woman. It's, um, you like uh, South African women? <laughs> Let me be clear with what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, take a drink. So basically what he's saying is that he's obsessed with South African women. Now I will say this. Um, I have said the passport bros exist. We spoke about passport bros last time. A lot of men flying outside the country to find ladies of love or ladies of leisure. You done it in Cancun and found your snorkel instructor, right? I've said, guys have got to go to South Africa and they've got to go to East Africa. 
That's what I'd say. I'd say, guys, I've got to go to South Africa. You've got to go to East Africa. you got to go to West, obviously. But just for me, South Africans, South African women and East African women, amazing. Just, just amazing for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just my personal preference there, guys. Okay. Shout out to my East African ladies and my South African. I feel like you like those women because you can abuse them the most without them lashing out at you because you hate women. I'm going to get to the bottom of your... Bro, bro, do you know what's so funny? I actually had someone on the internet yesterday tell me that I abuse and control women. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> posted that <laughs> Really? They said that I abuse and control women. I'm like, oh, well done. Clap for yourself. What evidence do you have of that? Me. None. Me telling them. Just, really? just, just... And that's the thing about telling the truth, mm. you see? Um, when you tell the truth, you get all of these labels, bro. Yeah. No, if I'm being honest... <clears throat> you know, I don't believe what I say about you and women, but that's the image that's portrayed. The image that's portrayed, yeah, 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 yeah. because you're saying. But it was portrayed things. the same as with Kevin, with Kevin Samuels. Remember, yeah. anyone that really tells the truth, right? And I think is, I think is, I think a lot of people aren't able to differentiate between certain individuals. There are certain men who portray certain things, and there are certain men who say certain things, mm-hmm. but don't necessarily portray certain things. Does that make sense? So that you sense. so you could say you could speak about the prison system. You don't portray a criminal, but then you could portray a criminal. Yeah, and know about the prison system because yeah. you look like a damn criminal. Exactly. People can't tell the difference. They can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they say that if you talk about the prison system and you know it, that means you're a criminal. No, it doesn't. That's true. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, and that's the same thing when you talk about this type of stuff and we talk about the in the red pill manifest space if you speak about it and you understand it you obviously are part of the prison system that makes sense i'm not part of the prison system guys you can't find women coming out the woodwork saying sorry garvey beat me up and he used to dv me and sa me and like i said if you do I'd, I'd love to know who they are because i'd invite them on the show and i'd have a conversation with them and be like when when? So what year was this? <laughs> yeah. And what happened? Because I know myself like that. I know that's not what I do. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is, ladies. Sorry to disappoint you. But I'm not an abuser in a DV and an essay of women. Sorry to disappoint you. Just because I tell the truth about you doesn't mean that I actually try to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, girls. Sorry, ladies. Try someone else, love. Yeah. Um... um... I, we got one more honorable. Even honor. if. Even if he was an abuser even of, if. of women.